Audrina, there it is. You know what day it is? Foodie Friday. It is Foodie Friday, and today <laughs> we're telling you about a restaurant keeping both comfort and community in mind. Digital journalist Jamaica Ponder takes us to a cozy cafe and restaurant. It's situated in East Garfield Park. It's, up up, it's serving up food and opportunities. For today's Foodie Friday, I'm at Inspiration Kitchens in East Garfield Park. Now, Inspiration Kitchens is one arm of the Inspiration Corporation, a Chicago-based nonprofit that's been fighting to eradicate poverty and address inequity in the city for over 30 years. And with Inspiration Kitchen, they're working to do that through making a culinary education and eventually a career more accessible to members of our community who otherwise might not get a shot in a professional kitchen. We started out doing um, cafe service for folks experiencing poverty and homelessness. And kind of a natural outgrowth of that was our uh, food service training program. We had a kitchen we, were, we weren't using, so we started teaching people how to cook. And Inspiration Kitchens, where we are today, has been around for about 10 years, and it is our social enterprise restaurant and our food service training facility. The Inspiration Food Service Training Program prepares its cohorts for culinary careers right from the restaurant's kitchen. They can fit up to 15 students in here at a time, training them in a myriad of culinary arts, from pastry to using a pizza oven. After hitting certain benchmarks, students are matched with jobs in kitchens across the city, or they can opt to work in-house at the Inspiration Kitchen's restaurant. Samara Henderson went through the program over 10 years ago. When she graduated, she decided to stay and work on site. Right before I graduated, I was offered the job as the line cook. I took that, kind of kept my head down, kept working, and just kept going up from there. And now, she's the restaurant's head chef. Well, what's really unique is, first, the name, Inspiration. Like, when you hear that, it's like, oh, it could be a cliche until you come in and you understand that it's really inspirational because you have individuals that have so many barriers that they're welcomed with dignity and respect. They're treated just as well as the next person that they're sitting with. So. If you were homeless, if you were incarcerated, if you, you know, just wanted to change your current trajectory of your career, we offer that. We have a philosophy of dine well, do good, because everything that comes into the restaurant from what they're purchasing from us goes right back into our food service training program. You know, people are want to address those issues of equity, and, and as an organization, we try to do that. We, we are addressing hunger, homelessness, poverty, we do have a housing program where we connect people to housing resources and housing access. Um, we do have the meals and engagement program where we're helping people not only get, get um, nourishment, but also really helping them stabilize and connect to the resources they need. So when folks come to dine here, they're making a contribution to all of that work. And then to get an opportunity to do something that you love and be able to make a living out of it and be able to help individuals become self-sufficient and go out and do something that they never thought that they can do, it's beautiful. Whether you're in the neighborhood or not, come on, stop in and grab yourself a bite to eat. The food is fantastic and every dollar spent helps the Inspiration Corporation in their larger fight against poverty, houselessness and food insecurity. So you really can come in here, fill up your stomach and fill up your soul at the same time. I'm Jamaica Ponder for CBS News Chicago. Love that. Some real yeah. soul food. <laughs> yeah, I love that our Foodie Friday has this uh, like double whammy in the best way. And I love what Samara said during that story. She's like, no matter if you're being served here, you work here, no matter who you are, you'll be treated with dignity and respect. And that's amazing. I love that. Mm -hmm. That one little dish with like mashed potatoes or something. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I was looking at the like chicken and waffles. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Shrimpy yeah. head saute. Yeah. 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 All of it looked great. I know. And I will say during this gloomy weather we've had, I just want the comfort food. Yeah. And I know I try not to do it all yeah. the time, but I love it. I thought we were doing better in January. You know, we are. It's like, why, we why are. in this first week when I'm trying to do better? It's like <laughs> nothing makes you feel better than some nice good old comfort food, carbs, oh, <laughs> trying to carbs. stay away.